Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a second episode of Thrift Store Makeover. Except technically this didn't come from a thrift store. These two are actually old pieces of my sister that she wasn't really using. And so I decided to incorporate it into a bigger project. But the first step of this project is making over both of these pieces. They were both made out of wood and they just looked to be like a park bench and a little flower box. And so starting off I'm just going ahead using some regular tacky glue and gluing on the little decorative piece on the front that had fallen off. And so once that was securely glued on I just sanded down the surface of the wooden bench and prepared it for painting. And like with most things that I paint, I started by giving it a few coats of gesso, although technically this wasn't really needed since the wooden bench was already completely white and it wasn't really dirty or used. And my main reason for using gesso on it and for giving it as many coats as I do is because I had ran out of regular white paint and so I was really just buying time till I got more white paint. And so as you will see I am giving many coats on both the bench and the flower box just to give it a pure white color without using actual white paint since I didn't have any. And this may come as a surprise to everyone, but I'm not going to be doing a very colorful piece today. As I mentioned before, these two pieces are actually going to be a piece into a bigger project that I'm going to be completing next week. These two are kind of just the first part to the piece. I won't give away what the bigger project is, but all I will say is that these are the only two pieces are actually going to be hand painted the rest is going to be more constructed by me and so before I could get to any of the construction I needed to have the two pieces completely painted and remade and since these two pieces aren't going to be decorative like most of the things I do paint I needed to make sure that the pieces would look together and it was actually kind of difficult for me to come up with a design. I held off this project for a long time since I couldn't decide on something. And that was also another reason that I spent lots of time gessoing both of the pieces. But in the end I decided for a nice white base color for both the flower box and the park bench. I had to keep in mind the overall project that these pieces were going to go with and so that had to take away lots of the creative liberty. I couldn't just paint the whole thing rainbow like I normally would have. And in this video, I'm actually not even going to be putting any sealant or protectant on the pieces since they're technically going to be left unfinished since they're going to be a part of another piece. And although the pieces aren't going to change much from their original design, they are going to be different and going to have some color to them. But it was kind of nice to restrict myself a little and do something different than the regular rainbow colored everything that I do. And so for this park flower box, I decided to just paint the little decorative piece on the front, which just had a little bird and some flowers and leaves. And so I decided to paint a little blue bird with some pink and purple flowers and then just a regular green color for the leaves. 
And as you can see, the inside of the flower box is empty. It just has a little styrofoam in it. That will be fixed in the next part to this video. I will add some things to it. And for the little seats, the little park bench, I'm painting the little back, which seems to be a butterfly shape with three colors. I'm doing a pink, blue, and purple color scheme. Lately, I've really been into those three colors, and so I decided to use them again. And of course, this was very difficult to film. You can't really see what I'm painting as I'm painting. Just because of the weird shape of the chair and how... When I'm seeing it, you can't really see it from the view over the camera. But you're not really missing much since I'm just going over the same colors and layering up the paint to get create a solid color. And so now I'm just doing a few more touch-ups on both the box and the park bench. Especially with the white since I need to make sure it's a complete white color. I had to go around the edges of where I painted with my actual colors. And so once I finished with all of the touch-ups and they were dry, this is how both the flower box and the park bench turned out. They're both very, I would say, kind of plain pieces. They're very different from what I'm normally doing. But I also kind of like that they are very plain and they are mostly white just with a few little things of color because it really makes the color stand out more. And I think the little simplicity to the pieces give it a lot of beauty. And I'm excited to use them for the part 2 of this video. I think they're going to look really good with the overall project that I have ahead. And overall I think that they look really nice together, the park bench and the flower box. I had a lot of fun painting these two pieces. It was very different to what I'm normally used to. But it was a nice challenge to hold myself back from the regular rainbow that I do. And I hope you all enjoy this video. Thank you all so much for watching and God bless you.